What is going on everyone? It's Andy with Andy's Lawn Care and Outdoor Adventures here. Thank you for coming back for yet another video. I know what you guys are thinking. It's been a while since you've seen me, and yes, that is correct. I've been very, very busy with school and other things, but as you can tell by the title of this video, we are going to be going out to the project lawn to do our fall overseeding. This video was filmed a little over a month ago, so I do apologize for the delay in getting this uploaded to you, but I figure better late than never. So with that, let's roll to the project lawn and I will see you guys in the outro. So here we are, September 11th, 2021. Just taking a look around the yard, you could see the grass is definitely nice, dark and green. It does look a little bit pale, but that's because it's been a little bit dry. And on top of that, we just had the yard aerated by a lawn company. On top of that, the yard was also cut down much shorter than its normal height. It's currently sitting at two and a half inches in preparation for the seed that we are about to put down. I apologize in advance if you cannot hear me, but you can see right here, we definitely got some nice cores pulled out, opened up the lawn in preparation to put down some seed. Now taking a look down here, down the north side of the house, you can also see some aeration cores, but the main thing I want to point out is, look at how nice and tight that domination line is. And then taking a look out here at the front yard, you can see some remnants of some stripes, but overall, just about 100% filled in out here. So with that, let's go ahead and talk about the first steps in today's process. So the first step in today's process is core aeration. Core aeration is the process of using a machine that goes across your lawn and pulls out little cores of soil, about two inches long or so, and this is going to relieve soil compaction, allow air, water, and nutrients to better penetrate the root system of the yard. In our case, aeration is also going to expose some of the soil so that when we put down some seed, it can better reach the soil and have a higher chance of germinating. Now that part was done by a lawn company. The overseeding and the fertilizing will be done by us. So let me show you what seed we'll be using for the process. The seed for today's project is going to be the Lesco 50-50 Bluegrass Ryegrass Select Seed Mix. Today we have a 10 pound bag. And here's a picture of what cultivars are in here. You can pause and read those for a second if you would like. This is a very good quality blend. As you can see the germination rates on the seed is 85 to 90 percent and there is no weed seed added into this mix. A little bit on the pricier side, pushing $60 here for a 10 pound bag. However, like I stated, this is a quality mix that is going to deliver us great results. As far as application rates here, you can see they have new seeding and then just over seeding. For today's video, we'll be going with the lower rate here, targeting somewhere around two pounds per thousand. For this year's over seeding, we will only be seeding from this driveway down this way. From that front side, we're going to seed down this side. As you can see, we do still have some thin areas here, and this area, like right up in there, gets baked by sun 24-7, so we'll be overseeding that. Then coming around in the back, we're going to seed all of this right over here, and then a little bit just behind that swing set. We will not be seeding that north side of the house or around because of the fact that, one, we didn't buy enough seed, two, that side up over there is plenty thick and good to go, and over here is where we had all the thin areas and the dead areas, so that's why we'll be seeding over here as well. And the last thing is, it's more of a sprinkler issue, because we can set up a sprinkler right there, get that area, one over here, get this area, and instead of having to mop the sprinkler so many times, we figure we'll do this half of the lawn this year, and then next year we'll overseed that half going down the side and down to the front. I hope that makes sense, so with that, let's get to putting down some seed. So now that we're mostly done spreading the seed here, what you're seeing my uncle do here with this John Deere stitcher tool, he's going around here and just kind of working that seed into the soil, opening up these few bare areas right over here just a little bit more to maximize our chances of the seed germinating and growing in properly. The second thing to go down with our aeration and our seeding today is going to be a starter fertilizer. Today we're using the Yard Mastery Triple 12 starter fertilizer. We used this earlier in the spring and we had half a bag left. As you can see we have all the nutrients, the N, the P, the K, all the micros, the iron, the bionite, all the goodies to go down to. 
since we have about a half a bag left which is going to be around 22 23 pounds we're going to put this product down at three pounds per thousand so you can see it's going to give us just under 0.4 pounds of npnk so let's get to spreading final step to this whole process and the most important that will ensure our work will not go to waste is water 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 and more water as you can see here we got the oscillating sprinkler set up on the side of the house it's getting right from here up to the air conditioning unit so it's perfect for an overseeded lawn water twice a day until the seed comes up and then water once a day for a little while longer until that seed is fully established which is typically about a month after germination all right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that video out at the project lawn. I know it was fairly short and to the point, but we were kind of running up against daylight at the time to get all the work in that we needed to get done. And I do have some brief after results, especially of that south side of the house where there was some bare spots. So I'll go ahead and I will roll that right now. Alright everyone, and that is going to conclude this video on the fall overseeding out at the project lawn. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to go back out there one more time this season to provide you with a final update on the project lawn as we begin to close out the 2021 lawn care season. There's still more content to come, my friends, don't worry. This last month or so of the season, I'm going to post a bunch of content for you guys to, help to get your lawn in the best shape possible to set yourself up for the next lawn season. In the next video, we'll be discussing my lawn update, and then I'm going to give you guys some lawn tips for those of you who did not overseed your lawns like I did this year to set yourself up for some great success next year. So with that, I'm Andy with Andy's Lawn Care and Outdoor Adventures. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.